They are very important and, and integral. And oftentimes, what, if you have a story, what I like to do is relate it to the people in the audience. You're here at Clover Park, and you're their students, and you you would maybe want to relate something that they could relate to, not something five thousand miles away that might be foreign, but something maybe every day. And that's a tool that you can connect with the audience, because mm -hmm. ultimately, when you're speaking, you, the speaker, are not the most important person. It's that person sitting in the chair, and you need to relate it not to them just as a group, but to each individual. Mm -hmm. And uh, so you could do a, a story maybe about a similar student. Mm -hmm. Doesn't necessarily have to be one in that school, but s someone from a similar, because um, people tend to listen up. They, you can see their body language when you're relating it to someone who could be their neighbor or friend or someone just like them. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm a fundraiser and in my work and, and we raise money, and so oftentimes we'll have to do stories, you know, why would I want to give, and why is it important to give, and our employees, we have a fund that helps fellow employees, and we also have a fund that helps our patients, and it's important because everyone in our organization plays a role. We are a nonprofit organization, and while someone might be in food service, or linen service, or, or direct patient service, they might not think that, well, what's my role in philanthropy? But really, they, they do have a connection, and their job is important because that patient might be grateful, and they might uh, very well become a donor. And, and also, they m might have a friend who is in need, and they really didn't know that. And we have programs to, to help our fellow employees and to help our patients, and they really hadn't thought that, oh, gee, well, you know, I could be in that boat too, so I'll tell a story about one of their coworkers or mm -hmm. someone who needed help or maybe a story about one of our patients who who came in and had a trauma accident and didn't even have clothes to go home with, and we have a fund that gives them clothes that they can go home. Because mm -hmm. the people who work with us want to help the community and they want to help their patients, and when they realize that they, they're vulnerable and that they're they're not taking advantage of the system, but this is a way that they can really help them uh, succeed.